Hang on. This is our, this is our intro. Ah! <laughs> Still a Viking shoot. Good morning, welcome back to the 120th. Uh, large format shoot for you today. It's a shoot that I've been planning for quite a while with my good friend Tom. Uh, he's been on this channel before actually. He is this guy. Um, he kind of looks like a Viking, doesn't he? Now, Tom will tell you that he is from Viking stock. He's very proud of his Norse heritage. So he's up for a, a, a Viking shoot in a forest. I have an image in my head of, of Tom in a, a kind of a dense woodland in, his, in this full kind of Viking slash Norse slash um, Game of Thrones inspired type costume um, with a, an axe or a staff or something and some low lying mist. Um, so that's that's the image in my head. That's what I've dreamed up. That that's what I'm going to shoot for. So there's a few things that I need. Number one is a Viking costume for him. So I decided a few weeks ago that I was going to make it uh, rather than buy it because buying decent quality stuff that looks the part really can set you back quite a lot of money. So I have spent several weeks making uh, a kind of a leather tabard. Um, and adding some detail to that. Um, I've made a uh, fake fur cape um, that we can attach to his shoulders. Um, I've made him some furry boots out of some uh, standard boots with some fake fur stuck onto them with glue, glue that was left over from the glue test shoot that I did a few weeks ago. I've made him a staff whittled from a piece of two by four with an ax. I then stained that with tea and coffee um, and some vinegar and, and wire wool. I then uh, sanded down some sections of it and attached a kind of handle to it and uh, put um, some rings of aluminum around the top just to give it some definition, some bits to stand out. I did a bit of a scout uh, for locations and I found a forest uh, a couple of miles from where I live. This low-lying mist is gonna be something of a, of a tricky issue, but I've got a load of smoke grenades. Um, that I have used for previous shoots. They are a pain in the ass. I know they are, I've done it before. Smoke grenades out in the open, um, you are relying on the wind to blow in a specific direction and invariably it won't do that. But we'll take them with us and we'll, we'll set some smoke grenades off. Um, I'm gonna shoot on the Toyo uh, because I can get the car all the way up to this uh, location. Um, so I can get it close enough, I can take the Toyo, I don't need the wonderfully portable Intrepid. I'm going to be shooting on the uh, Nickel 210 5.6 and this is exciting, we're going to do a couple of frames on the Dalmire. So this will be the first run out for this lens, I've never used it before. Unidentified Dalmire, I don't know what it is. Um, so if we've got any Dalmire experts out there, then do let me know what the hell this is. It's an 8.5 inch f4.5 and a stigma and that's all the information i've got on it other than it saying dalmire on it so we're going to give that a run out as well get a couple of frames on that i'm excited about that it should be fun so yeah i'm kind of all set up and ready for the viking shoot i've got a few images in mind a few things planned um if my experience of other shoots is anything to go by then those plans will go out of the window after the first frame um, but that's okay i've been thinking about it long enough now that, that i should be able to generate some ideas as we go along so let's see how we get on right then we are uh in a field not for the first time um i have the wonderful tom here with me hello hello tom tom has plaited his beard how about that? But this is why this shoot's so good for you, because it's basically this is your thing, right? Yeah. I mean, it's not, I'm saying Viking, I don't really know what it is. It's, it's kind of... Um, it's North. Norse, but yeah, yeah, it's yeah, North. Yeah, North. It's North. So first things first, you need to get dressed. Oh God. Let's get you togged up. He's, uh, he's ready. I think you look good. I mean, he's got, I mean how, much, how much am I wearing? What, 250? Uh, if that, probably, yeah, no, maybe this may be a tenner. Maybe a tenner? Whoa. Yeah. I like these, nice. I think these are great. About, uh, yeah, the uh, braces yeah. as well. Got the, the staff is excellent. You like that? The staff really is excellent. I like your use of nylon cord. <laughs> You're a leading exponent in nylon cord. No, Norse is a traditional <laughs> Norse nylon cord. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's go in the woods and play. Yeah, with the sharp scissors and the smoke. 
We've got 12 sheets. Uh, I have six sheets of FB4. I have four sheets of XR uh, for use at some stage. Uh, okay, how are we doing there? Fine. Ready to rock? Yeah, Let's do it. Really, cut backwards, are you sure? I'm not sure. Uh, so, where are ya? Okay, let's go a bit further back and let's get your legs in. <sighs> Stay where you are, please. Okay, where are you gonna be? Come, come a couple of paces forwards, please. So here's our frame. Um, right, so we're gonna mess with the front stand a little bit. I'm gonna rise it up and uh, I think tilt it downwards. Uh, I wanna get a kind of an ethereal sort of fantasy look. Let's try that. Let's just see where that's got us. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah, nice. Okay, all right, this is cool. I like this. Four, five. One, two, five. Okay, let's go and set fire to something over there. There we go. Ow. There we go. Alrighty, now, we're rolling. Ugh. Only, these things only burn for like 45 seconds or something. Damn it, that wind's picked up actually. Right, dark slide out. Just wait for the right, um, keep going, keep going. Bend those knees. Start slide back in. So we're going to go F8, um, a fifteenth of a second. I might go thirtieth and try and keep it down. No, let's go fifteenth. Go fifteenth. So you're going to have to hold nice and still for this one. Right, dark slide is in, but let's close that shutter and let's go and set off some fireworks. So we're going, we're going for the big one this time. Oh. <sighs> That's going the wrong way. Damn it. All right, that might be coming round actually. Hello. Oh, it's coming round the right way. How do I get in? <laughs> right, dark slide out on the top. Shutter cocked. Come on, give me more. Right then, change of plan. Uh, Tom is just having a bit of a snack. And a sit down. And a sit down. It's hard work being a Viking. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do a really tight kind of just face. So let's, um, let's bring the camera in nice and close. Dark slide, out. Right, holding, dirty look. Three, two, one. Um, Right, the next thing we're gonna do is this uh, Dalmeyer lens, which I'm quite excited about. Um, but I have no shutter for it, so I'm going to, I don't know yet actually, we'll work this out. Okay, so that's pretty tight. Um, wow, this lens is exciting. I'll just use the lens cap, I think. Right. Ruddy quick. Yeah. So one second, it's F32. So let's come back up to, let's get F, we got F16, is a quarter of a second. Um, and then with a little bit for bellows extension, so it's probably half a second. Uh, well, let's just try it. I mean, it's on and off, isn't it? It's yeah, on, bomb. off, yeah. All right, so out comes the dark slide. So we are now exposing. Holding, holding. One, back in. Could be good, could be, could be interesting. I don't really know what to expect. Um, let's do one more shot with the Dalmeyer. Um, and then we'll move on to a slightly different plan. Dark side out. And go. 
come back in again. Do you want to do a colour one here? Do a quick, a quick, quick, well I've only got colour frames left, so let's do a frame of colour. So this is on the Ektar. Wait for a little clearance and then... Alright, let's just shoot one more. Uh, for this one, I think let's do... Come and sit on the floor here and I'm going to do a really tight head and shoulders. So, hold that please. Not long now. Close. Shutter. Dark slide. Out. Shutter was cocked, wasn't it? And let's go on. Whew. A day, I'm exhausted. I've taken it, I've taken nine photos. Or maybe ten. But that's it, no, 10 photos. I've taken 10 photos, that's it, and I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, anyway, hopefully there'll be some cool stuff in there. Soon find out. So there we go. I am pretty happy with some of those results. Um, I thought that went really well. Um, the smoke was a, a waste of time, but pff, whatever. It's always a risk. Uh, when you, especially when there's only two of you on location, a photographer and a model. If I had an assistant, I could have had somebody wafting smoke in the right direction. But I didn't have an assistant because it was just me and we weren't, we were keeping costs down. But overall, I thought the Viking outfit looked all right. Um, Tom was an absolute legend and he gave it his all. Thank you, mate. Really appreciate it. Some of those um, wild front standard movements that I was chucking in right at the top were you know, a little bit overcooked perhaps, but I quite like the look that it's created. I mean, it's, you know, I was after a kind of a striking, kind of ethereal um, fantasy look, and I think it's done that. I think we've achieved that. The Dalmire lens was a, where is it? That Dalmire lens was a, a revelation. I'm, I'm really happy with that. I love the images that come out of that. There's just a, a softness in the, the light behind Tom, which, um, I really like, I really like. It's giving him this kind of glow, this kind of halo, which I wasn't getting from the Nikkor. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. There has, there, there was, before this shoot, um, and to a certain extent during it and afterwards, there's, there's been something playing on my mind. And I mentioned this shoot and what I was doing and making the Viking costume and all the rest of it to a couple of people um, in the weeks, in the run-up to the shoot. Um, and I had more than one person look at me slightly confused and basically say why why are you doing all this and and, and the reason that i'm talking about this now is that uh it, it has kind of made me ask myself what the purpose of all of this is what am i doing why am i doing this uh and it's that's been an interesting thing to put to to mull over in my head for the last few days um and I think the answer that I've come to is that that I'm on a journey. You know, I'm I'm I don't really know why I'm doing it. If I'm honest, I'm I'm finding my way and and doing the next fun thing. Um, I guess in some ways I'm trying to pin down what really gets me going, what type of photography really inspires me. Um, I am trying to. Uh, I'm trying to get a buzz from my photography. I'm trying to get a buzz from creating and creating these images. And I do get a buzz. I get a buzz from this. I know I don't get a buzz from, from landscapes. Um, it doesn't do the same thing for me. I feel like I'm still, to a certain extent, trying out lots of different things. I'm, I'm gradually honing in on that one thing that, that will end up, I guess, being my life's work. I don't know. So... Why am I doing this shoot? Why did I make such a big effort? Why did I go through all that? It's for me. It's for me. I like the fact that I'm going to show it to you. That's a motivator, for sure. Um, but I would have done it even without the YouTube channel. Um, and I've done plenty of shoots with, with Tom 
long before I started the YouTube channel. So for me, I think the answer is that I'm on a journey. I am finding my way in photography. I'm finding my way you know, in life to a certain extent. I don't know which way I'm going right now. But I'm enjoying the journey and I'm enjoying myself. Um, and I'm going to keep moving forwards. And I've got another shoot plan next week. And that is also just something that I want to do. There's no real purpose to it other than it being part of my journey. Anyway, that all got a bit deep. I'm sorry about that. Um, it was just something that kind of um, wobbled me a little bit because they put a lot of effort into this shoot. And, you know, it was a lot of late nights. Um, a lot of those things took quite a long time to set up and I had to make time and find time in and around the kids and work and all the rest of it. Until somebody said to me, I didn't really have a moment where I stopped and thought, why am I doing this? It didn't, that, that wasn't a question I asked myself. This all made perfect sense in my head. But there we go. doesn't necessarily make sense to everyone and, and may not be something that everybody would do. Anyway, lots more stuff coming up. Um, I've got lots more shoots planned. They're not always quite as involved. I'm not in the process of making like 11 costumes. But I do have some other stuff lined up, um, which should be of interest. So hit that subscribe button. Join me on my journey. And if you enjoyed the video today and uh, like the photos, then drop us a comment. Drop us a comment. If you don't like the photos, tell me why you think they're shit. Uh, and I will tell you why you're wrong. Uh, just kidding. Uh, everybody's opinion is valid, and I look forward to hearing them all. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop talking now. I've talked a lot. All right, bye.